love and are happy to live on this side of the grave. We are not afraid to lay down in the bed and sleep because we figure that we will wake up and continue to f exist physically or live as we call it. On the other hand, we claim to believe in a God of heaven and to be saved, but yet we are afraid to lay down in a casket in a physical death. I can't take this anymore. So much hatred in the world. No matter how good and loyal I am to people, people always seem to cross me. Even my own family. My own family treats me worse than anyone else. Traitors deserve to die by my hands, but I can't hurt anyone. This is no place for a person like me. This place is hell. This world was made for devils. I'm really tired. I'm going to give up. Fuck the world. on this planet without any true understanding of life, death, and the combination of the two. We love and are happy to live on this side of the grave. We are not afraid to lay down in the bed and sleep because we figure that we will wake up and continue to f exist physically or live as we call it. On the other hand, we claim to believe in a God of heaven and to be saved. But yet, we are afraid to lay down in a casket in a physical death. Why is this so? I'll tell you why this is so. We are faking it. We claim to believe in this mystery God of heaven. But we really don't believe in a God. Because this God is a mystery. We are a mystery to ourselves, Just as life and death is a mystery to us all. This means that we fear the unknown which would be known to us if we paid attention to the messages that was, is, and will be given to us. 
Psalms 82 6 and John 10 34 says that individually we are gods and together we are God I quote Psalms 82 6 I have said that you are gods and all of you are children of the most high but you should die like men and fall like one of the princes Arise, O God, with a capital G, and judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. God, with a capital G, is all souls combined together as one, and us lowercase gods are fractions of God and are figments of the imagination of God. In Genesis 1, 26 to 27 it has been said this is what it says then God said let us make mankind in our image and our likeness so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image, in his own imagination. In the image or imagination of God, he created them, male and female. He created them. This says, we are nothing but thought. <laughs> All of us or imagine. Let me carry on. Man is God. And men are gods. Who is God. Who became lost in division. And the unbalance. Of the soul itself. There will be no peace. Without balance. Before physical condition. Excuse me. Before physical division. And existence of gods on the earth. God was one balanced entity of unconditional love and peace. Us individual divided gods existed on this planet for the purpose of reuniting, becoming one again, joining negative and positive thoughts together as one, destroying sin, mental death, and individual hell, building unconditional love in which heaven and hell coexist. The gods must love hell as they love heaven in order to come out right. Without, without that, there will be no peace. There will be no peace in life in the earth nor in the universe following what we know as death. Think about this. When we are troubled while we are awake, when we go to bed, we have nightmares that will wake us up if a disturbed mind would cause disturbances while asleep cause you to jump up out of, out of your sleep after going to bed what do you think would be your fate after a physical death could it be likely that you would physically exist in the absence of peace die and exist in a disturbed reality that will result in you being born again to try to obtain peace I mean I mean the universe says that what goes around comes around a disturbed soul that dies will be a disturbed soul that would jump out of death and be born again into the world this could be why babies are born crying 